A good start for Dundee in this one. When Ian Anderson's shot was blocked for the wall, Chick Charlie thumped home the opener. Only two minutes gone on the clock, and that's the start they wanted. Another chance now for Jim Duffy's men. That's Jim Hamilton doing the dribbling. Paul Tosh doing the shooting. And David Wiley getting in the road. Well, Morton are dangerous because of their strong midfield. They didn't even need that section of the park. There's a long ball here from Derek Collins. Sets up Derek Lilly. And look at this for a finish. That's a peach of a lob. And the Greenock side pull level. Well, unfortunately for them, the scoreline wouldn't stay that way for long. Tommy McQueen picks up the loose ball and passes over to Jim Hamilton. He sees Paul Tosh making the run. The cross perfect, and so is the volley. Good goal, and it's 2-1 Dundee. Paul Tosh, a hard man to catch. Well, strangely, Morton actually took control of the match from this point as they desperately searched for the equaliser. Dundee usually managed to clear the danger, though. Alan McGraw's men never give up. And that's a good chance there from Peter Cormack. Well done, Billy Thompson. Into the second half now, and here come Jim Duffy's men. Morton make a meal of clearing their lines. Collins and MacArthur getting in the road of each other. And Anderson takes advantage. One last shot at picking up a point for Morton now. We're in the closing stages of the game. Here's Brian Reed setting up Marco Rajamaki. He lost it over for Pat Flannery, and Billy Thompson made sure it ended 2-1 to Dundee.